and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel slash if you're old here to my channel you probably won't have seen me for a while so welcome back thank you for coming back because it has been a really long time if you're not following me on instagram i have been over there kind of less so as well i've been keeping it keeping it quiet and mainly because i feel like i've had loads of life changes you might notice i'm somewhere else i feel like we'll talk about that at another date also i have a new job I just generally, a lot of stuff has changed. A lot of stuff has changed. And that kind of leads me on to this video. So I have four really amazing designer handbags to show you. And if you've watched my channel for a while or follow me on Instagram or any of the social media platforms that I have, you'll know that I am obsessed with handbags. I'm not really into shoes. I couldn't care about shoes. It's just handbags just really get me. They really stimulate something in my brain, my heart, my overall being. And I just feel at one when I'm with nice handbags. I quit my previous job that I wasn't really enjoying. So I'm working freelance for a couple of other brands. One of the brands that I'm working for at the moment is called, this is The Want. This is not sponsored by them. They probably don't even know I'm doing this. I am um, helping them out with some social media stuff. And it meant that I got to borrow four really nice handbags so i'm going to do you a favor kind of don't want to do this favor because i don't want anyone else to enter the competition to win them so that i win them but basically it's like a raffle where you can win a designer handbag and so i have the bags because i was taking some nice pictures for their social media platforms and i thought i might do a little youtube video styling them up so i've got four designer handbags i'm going to style them in four different ways and i'm going to show you each bag inside out and with an outfit. And also go and enter the competition. I'm literally not being paid for this, so I really shouldn't tell you because I really wanna win the bags myself, but I'm going to because I'm a nice girl. And I feel bad because I haven't been on here for a while. So basically you just wanna to head to their Instagram. It's called, this is the want. And over there, there'll be all of the details and you can basically win a bundle. They do like a bundle every month, I think. And then they do like one, no, yes. We'll have to check it out online, but I'll leave all of the um, links and their website and everything in the description box. But basically you pay to enter the raffle. You can buy like one ticket, two tickets, five tickets or 10. You can't enter more than once. So make your decision wisely when you go there. I think I bought uh, 10 tickets for the last, they were, they were giving away a Dior saddlebag, I didn't win, sadly. Without much further ado, let's get into it because it's really fun and really exciting start with my favorite bag because I love but also Buster is lying on the sofa in front of me snoring away like literally right behind the camera so if you can hear a little snoring in the background just enjoy it try and embrace it the Louis Vuitton Locky BB it's got this big padlock on the front I think this is just beautiful it's like a classic Louis Vuitton monogram but then it's just a little bit more interesting it's not like a boring bag but at the same time it's a very usable everyday bag this is my perfect size too i can fit my phone i can actually fit my little g7x camera in there probably wouldn't fit all of that and my purse so i take my cards and stuff out and put them in if i were to own this bag this is one of the bags that you would win in the raffle sadly not mine i really can't take any credit for these yet because I might be lucky enough to win them. You can get in different colours as well, but I just thought this was such a chic little bag. This is definitely my favourite. Love the gold hardware. It's got this top handle. And then on the inside, it also has the um, crossbody strap. That's cute. It would look nice with a variety of different things. So I think this would look nice with workwear, with something black, with something white, with something nude. Literally so many things. But I wanted to pair it with my new outfit that I bought when I was in Paris, which is from Marge. We think that's how you say it. I have never said it out loud. In my head, I've said Marge. I'm gonna go with Marge. I hope it's Marge. The more I'm saying it, the weirder it feels. I bought that in Paris with my mom and my sister. I went there recently. It's such a nice little set. It's more expensive than I would usually spend, but since the fire and I haven't been purchasing and keeping that many things, I keep buying, trying them on, and then being like, no. But I actually need to start keeping things. So I'm trying to buy like more expensive items that are gonna last me. So Marge, I went in there, kind of not really expecting to buy anything. But I found this really nice set with a cardigan. It's white, it's got the red piping. It was quite expensive. Um, and it goes with a matching skirt. I will leave them both in the description box. But I thought that the colors were really nice with this. It's kind of a preppy little bag, a preppy outfit all together. I actually wore it with some sock boots, which I don't know if you can see in the video. Um, did I say this is 1,250? Don't know if I did, but this is 1,250. A mature chic sophisticated bag but the outfit itself is quite fun okay next up is the gucci moment in the nude it's actually kind of more mauvey purple than i thought it's got gold hardware two shoulder straps and then 
crossbody like so also got a really comfy like leather section there so it's not going to be painful on your shoulder which i appreciate i appreciate that kind of thought you know thank you gucci the moment bag i think it was 1510 I think. I've seen so many people with these bags. It's not actually one that I've ever really had my, my eyes on, but you know, trying it on and having a go with it, I was like, it's a really, really good size. It's not too big as you know, I don't like a big bag. It's good enough to fit like a good amount of stuff. This is the inside. You've got a zip side pocket, really kind of nice, movable leather. I just dropped the stuffing on the floor one sec. Yeah, really satisfying bag and just a really comfy one that I can see why people wear these all the time. I paired this with kind of like a city outfit. Don't know why I said that. Just doesn't really doesn't really mean anything. What does that mean? I paired it with a new pair of kind of flared black trousers that I got from Tazenis. I think that's how you say it. I went to their showrooms the other day and they gifted me a few items. I didn't know they had so much stuff. I thought they just did underwear, but they actually do like underwear, pajamas, and clothing. So everything is like really comfortable, really stretchy material. So I paired it with some sock boots, which are so elongating for your legs. And I just felt like this added a sophisticated little pop as well as being like a really functional outfit that you could wear like running around the city, which is why I think it's a city outfit. I then paired it with just like a nude top that I have from Mango. And ooh, I got a hair in my eye. A camel coat which I actually got from Zara but there's so many around. I got that like four years ago and luckily it didn't go in the fire because I think it was at my dad's house. I paired it with my Holland & Cooper belt over the top which is something I'm really enjoying doing at the moment. It's give the same kind of Gucci vibe. They've got the same sort of logo situation going on on the belt but it's like a fraction of the price of a Gucci belt. This is also in the bundle. Sadly not mine yet. The really tiny ones are really cute. This leather, they do also do velvet ones as well which are cool with like all the stuff all over. But yeah. So the next bag, also in that bundle, which is not mine, not, I'm not taking credit for any of these bags, I'm just enjoying them, showing you, giving you my feedback on these bags. When I said that the Louis Vuitton bag was my favourite, this is really close second because I've actually wanted this for a while, so it was quite nice to like have a look at it, put it on my shoulder, just, you know, play in the mirror with this bag that doesn't belong to me. I'd love to like watch someone's YouTube video or have someone review it after two years or something and see how well it's done. But this is the Dior tote. I really, really like it. For like another 50 pounds, you can get it personalized on the back so you can get your name in there. So you have the Christian Dior on the front. It's 2,000 pounds and they do like a slightly smaller one that's like this sort of size. And I was like, if that's much cheaper than that, I'll just go for that one and be done with it. But it was 50 pounds cheaper, so I can't understand why you would ever go for the slightly smaller bag. It's like not the mini, I'd love the mini one, and I love this one, but why would you go for that middle size when it's 50 pounds less than this? If you think about it, if you think about it, it doesn't have to be just for the beach. You can, let me just open it up a bit. It's got the monogram all over it. The summer comes, I would use this like for my laptop, for just anything, just chuck everything in it. And you know, if I really fancy that, go to the supermarket, I'd take it to Aldi. Just stock up on my weekly shop and um, use this as my reusable bag. I paired it with two outfits. I bought this like quite cute kind of, it's like cord blue dress, which I think you could wear either on holiday, by the pool, or like literally now. I'd probably wear it with some tights and this. And I actually think it could be a really cool like tonal look, like a blue look with this. Also paired this with an all denim look, which I think looks really nice with the blue. Basically this would be a really good bag with anything to take, you know, you could take this to work with a work outfit, uh, but it also looks really nice with double denim. I got a new jacket also from Marsh. And it's really cool because it's got like a shirt detailing at the back. I really like it open, so I'd like to wear like a little bralette, which I don't have at the moment, but like a bralette and just keep it open with some high-waisted jeans. It looks cool, but you could also do it up. I think this has made me really want this bag. I think that's my second favorite bag of the bunch. And the final bag is the Chloe Tess bag, which again, is one that I've never thought about me getting. I appreciate it on other people, but on me, I'm like, I don't need that. But actually, again, now I'm like, I really love this. It's so nice, it's a really satisfying like shoulder bag. It's so nice, it's not right up in your underarm. Also, I'm so used to having crossbody bags, it's just nice to not. It also has a crossbody strap, which is inside. I'll show you that in a minute. A beautiful bag, really nice and structured, which is my favorite kind of bag. Actually, all of these are quite structured, which is how I like handbags. Again, my kind of size. Gray with the gold hardware. I think this one was 1,250. I looked on the website and they have so many different varieties of this bag, which is cool. This is the one that will be included in this bundle. Like this is the color if you enter the competition. You can take off as well the top strap. You could actually have it as a clutch. Get rid of everything and just have that as a clutch because you can take off this 
top handle, but it's really nice soft leather. It's got plenty of space inside. It is rounded and you've got like a front pocket there. I like this bag way more than I thought I would like it. And I paired it with this long dress, which is actually very similar to this one, both from ASOS. And it's like this really nice kind of fringed frayed dress. That I actually was looking for potential dresses for my sister to have for her bridesmaids at her wedding. My mom got her bridesmaids dresses from ASOS. So I had a look on there for some stuff for my sister. Um, Cause I'm one of her bridesmaids. I found these two dresses. This one's like a shorter kind of olive green one. And the one I paired this with, which this would be nice with this too, was a kind of burnt orangey, really nice. And I think these two kind of reminded me of a Chloe, vibe like their kind of dresses so i think that goes really nicely so i like the fact that you could wear this for both day and night like it's it can be girly and feminine but then it can also be like strong sharp for the day so yeah if you do want to enter the competition which feel free to not so that i will win then yeah i will leave that in the description box i will leave them all in the description box as well if you are looking at getting your hands on any designer handbags i'm really enjoying playing with bags and seeing what I would like. If you liked this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see me do this again, do let me know in the comments down below. Hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.